Loud Sumner here out in Springfield, Virginia, the Washington, D.C. area. And today I kind of want to cover with you AWeber, which is an email marketing platform, uh, what is known as an autoresponder for you know, to have subscribers uh, come in and build your list within AWeber. And there are some other uh, email uh, platform, marketing platforms out there, autoresponders out there. But I use AWeber. I like the functionality. It's easy to use. It has training tutorials everything that you need to build and grow your business and allow subscribers uh, for you to correspond with all your subscribers as they come in. But you can see on the main screen there, uh, it gives it a little detail and actually has a trial period. You can go ahead and try it free for 30 days. Uh, below this video will be a description uh, of this information related to AWeber and the link for you to click if you would like to get this tool. Every business builder out here, whether you're uh, offline or online and a lot especially online when you have uh, used capture pages for your marketing and people put their first name email or just email for them to drop into your list which you have full control over and you can correspond and build a relationship with those subscribers and share added value share your offer opportunity whatever you're involved with and allow them to choose if they want to join your team or not but it becomes very relational to you as that income gets larger and larger to income growth as you're building an online presence, your online business, whatever it is that you're doing. But I want to go over and show you the features, functionality, some of it, not all the, you know, not all the, everything that's, that it has or can do for you, but I'm going to show you the main things and how to use it, get around uh, in AWeber. So anyway, this is a main page, and you can go ahead and sign up, get yourself a free trial. And I'm going to sign in. So here, when you first log in, will be the dashboard for you, and you have some uh, tabs, home, messages, subscribers, sign-up forms, reports, so you can check out analytics, list options, how to set up your list with the different settings, personalize it uh, for that list manage list all the total lists you can look at them anytime you can deactivate them you can create new lists here any integrations that you need to do with api or other type systems out there that accept a webber and any help you need with training tutorials frequently asked questions all right so anyway i want to take you here you can see it's kind of building up over time as I keep marketing online, sending traffic to the different strategies, marketing methods I use to bring subscribers in to my list. A very important key concept, you should be building a list and have it keep having it grow over time so that it can become a very valuable asset for you. So anyway, and you can see even here, you can schedule broadcasts, lay them out in some order, how they're going to go out each and every day, every other day, what time of the what time of the day they're going to go out to your subscribers and to what specific list you choose. Okay, all lists or maybe just a few lists, maybe a specific thing for a specific list. Down here in the bottom, you can see some of the details. You get the details, all the lists you have, total subscribers on that list for whatever you're doing, whatever opportunity. You can get the stats down there. And you clean up your list after a while. You kind of can see how there was only so many subscribers in different lists, but you got to get rid. Sometimes you're not doing things with those lists, so you can remove those subscribers and move them into the list you would like them to be, and then deactivate the list you're not not using, or maybe create new list of something else that you're doing as you get rid of the old. And get and you should always be getting rid of dead weight. What do I what do I mean by dead weight? Dead weight are people who unsubscribe or undeliverables because their email keeps bouncing and they should not remain on your list because as this, as this number goes higher, it'll reach a, their uh, AWeber's threshold of a certain point and then you will start getting charged more money. So you want to be efficient and keep only the subscribers that are active, viewing your emails, clicking, opening your emails, clicking on your link, looking at the information you provide them. So anyway, you would go to, I'm going to use this as an example. We'll just go here to this one, and we would choose subscribers. How are you going to do this and get rid of what I call dead weight? And we can see all the subscribers. We can click on subscribe to see if anybody unsubscribed today. We have one. We're going to get rid of that individual. 
because uh, they don't do anything. You don't need them on your list. Undeliverables, any there? None today, but if there were undeliverables, you could do the same thing. Click, hit delete, and get rid of them. Keep your list clean, you know, and things, uh, those that aren't doing anything, so that you have a very efficient list. And you can also segment your list, that's a different piece, by putting uh, subscribers where they're more active for certain things into a specific list, and those that are active for something else in a different list, segmenting it correctly. All right, so anyway, you got the home, you've already seen messages. On this specific uh, list, you would set your list wherever your messages are. You would set the list up here, and then you could look at your messages. So you would put certain type uh, messages, such as here, legacy follow-up. You can go ahead and put all the mess email messages you want in this list to go out over time. Very important. When you're sharing an opportunity or offer, not everyone joins the very first time. But what happens is, they, is this, the, the later in the follow-up series, they will see this a few times and say, you know, I looked at this a while back. I forgot about it. I see it again. And, and yes, I was interested. Now I'm going to try it out. So it can happen down the road where you have people joining your team. And this is why the follow-up series is so important. All right. So... On here also, you can have broadcasts. So if I wanted to broadcast, I would. I could also do it from here. I could say, right here, hit copy to drafts, stick it up in drafts, take me to the drafts, and then I can go to this one specific message, send options, schedule the broadcast, click which list I want it to go all, and then I can get rid of the list I don't want it to go to over here, exclude any of those lists, any of those that I just don't want it to go to. And then I could go ahead and hit apply, send a message now, or schedule that message for later on the date to a time. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you, just to give you a feel for it. All right, and you can do split testing, they have different things in campaigns, different you know different functions which we won't cover. I want to show you just orient you to the back office and all the capabilities that you could be using to can have a building a growing list of subscribers that you can correspond with and possibly become part of your team, your opportunity, or how whatever that may be. All right, so subscribers, manage your subscribers. You can add subscribers. You can add subscribers by manually adding them one by one, or you can choose to add by 10 or more. Here you can choose a file, uh, an Excel CSV file, comma separated value um, file, and you would choose certain fields for name, email, to be added to the list right here from that Excel spreadsheet. Or you can enter your subscribers by going going ahead and grabbing the list of emails and putting them all in one line straight down together and, and input them that way, such as 10 or more. All right, sign up forms. So when you create a, a form, you can uh, you set the list you want to create the form for and then you would go ahead and create a form. I'll give you a preview of one. Okay, well, I guess you're not going to see that with the pop-ups blocked, but we're going to check it out anyway. <laughs> I would create the form right here, and just a simple form. Now, this is a simple form but it works for your list. Well, I created one with a, really for a first name, an email that was gonna be integrated with a capture page, such as using ClickFunnels or lead pages, a capture page builder, something like that, that you could use or with your opportunity that allows AWeber integration. So you would do that, and then you would just keep taking it over all the way through once you've got it set up correctly, make sure all this is correct, go to the final, and now I wanna install my form I'm going to grab either the raw HTML, whatever is requested by the capture page builder, lead pages, uh, click funnels, or your opportunity opportunity that accepts this code. 
and and then you would put that in there and it would work for you this the capture page so when people put their information in they would drop right into this list right here all right so let me get off that reports allow you to see a lot of analytics here kind of check it out who's been opens over time clicks over time what's been occurring uh, per each uh, broadcast or per the email follow-up series are you having a uptick in the very first few emails going out in the follow-up and then degrades over time or does it or a few where it goes back up and you can find out which and you can also take a look and see which emails are working best such as back here at the home tab if I went back to the numbers which kind of sent out here you can look at opened at this point or and these were only sent out just recently in this this day so you could say percentage I want to see percentage how's it doing at this point in time since sending out and really I think the average rate should be you should be shooting for I think it's like 4.06 percentage about four percent of open rate uh, that you're kind of keeping uh, that's that's through some training listening to a person who is well known and, and knows all about list building so I believe that's what they said so we shoot for that and you can see if I open this up more we have some doing that so you this is where you start to uh, that percentage real quick we can get it to change there we go so you're shooting for that and and better and then those that aren't producing maybe you just they aren't working as good it doesn't mean you don't get rid of them but you could and only keep the best of the best okay so now in the list options I'll show you when you create a list you can use this to set up the list settings any custom fields you want or any kind of these this automation pieces and stuff but I'm going to show you where you create your list a new list for you go to manage lists we'll create a list we'll just run through one you put company name or your name whatever website that you want in your company website for you it's whatever you want you would put your address you have to put an address in here because that's just required it's one of those regulatory things uh, sender name you can put that in recommended when you're going to use sender name try to get yourself a domain I created this domain a long time ago retiredlivinglife.com and then of course create the email behind it because it works better uh, for inboxing things related to that more professional uh, when using a Weber okay where's it coming from not just a Gmail or a Yahoo account uh, make it a uh, professionalized domain name email alright I hope this is being helpful for you so far uh, so we would go next step we got past that I would put in whatever the list name is going to be so you know, Lance test, right? Just put it, but make it relevant to whatever your offer or opportunity is for you to remember and laying it out correctly. And then you put a little bit of verbiage related to it so that when the subscribers may see it, they'll know what, what they're going to be receiving, what it's for. And then you would go to the next step. You want something, so we'll put test in there again. In the English, okay? response required you have a few choices here you can pick from those if you want or just leave it be at the default and then verify here look everything look good this is really not much it doesn't take much right here to do this and then you would just hit approve message and create list okay, I'm not going to do that don't need that list but what I am going to do we're going to go back to here I'm going to show you about the list setting so once you've done that uh, in that creating a list you can go and I'm going to leave it on this list we could just go to list options and you would come to your basic settings so basic settings I now have my list name what did I write in there in the description block where's it coming from my name or whatever you want so, you know to set up in there your actual email this with the domain tied the domain name email tied to it not just uh, Gmail or Yahoo it's just so much better and you would go save settings when you've got it all fixed personalize your list 
here whatever that's going to be for you and there you can connect it with Twitter connect with Facebook uh, I honestly wouldn't recommend that you know I don't I just don't you know you can use Facebook separately as a social media uh, marketing you know venue and along with Twitter and not necessarily connect that part up personally uh, with me so and you can also set up global snippets so you can create what I call I'm not going to go into the details here but you can create global snippets so that way all your email series if you created those such as your an affiliate ID global snippet you could use this snippet within all of your emails and you would only have to enter the one thing the ID for that, that affiliate ID within that link one spot right here for all those emails that's that's the gist of it for setting that up that way all right confirmation message here again back to here and many times we say turn these off uh, you know after you got the first confirmation uh, for any of these things because it allows for the subscriber rate for people opting in uh, to come in and get on, get onto your list that's pretty much the gist of that okay so there I hopeful hopefully that was kind of useful information a little bit about Aweber you get a 30-day free trial it's a very functional tool I like it better honestly better than get response it has a better inboxing rate that's a little tip for you and uh, there are some other ones out there I know sin lane is one of them I think there's now something called sin shark that I've seen with an opportunity uh, there's quite a few actually out there um, to be using and uh, you can check them out but Aweber's very uh, reasonable in cost has a lot of capability allows you to do everything you need to do in your business building efforts and have subscribers you can relate with correspond and build your business so so anyway um, take the time to look this over and uh, if you choose to use this tool I wish you the best in success it's a great tool for you to build your list and actually grow your business.